Can life exist on the moons of Jupiter? In recent times, studies have shown that three of the four biggest moons of Jupiter, also known as Galilean moons, may have underground oceans, except for Io. Scientists believe that water may have existed on Io early in its formation, and that some form of life may exist underground. Over the years, these moons of Jupiter have been subject to exploration, especially Europa, where there is clear evidence of water. The Possibility of Life on Galilean Moons of Jupiter The first requirement for any carbon-based life form is water. On Earth, life started near hydrothermal vents underwater. When we look for life beyond Earth, the first assumption is that it requires liquid water for life to start. Based on that assumption, we looked at Mars, which in its past had bodies of water. Similarly, we also look to Venus, despite its hellish conditions. Some studies have determined that Venus may have hosted water bodies in the past. Now we are looking past the asteroid belt in the moons of the gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn. Although some studies say that Jupiter may host life in its atmosphere because it has no solid surface, this is often considered to be highly unlikely. The next possibility lies in Jupiter's four Galilean moons, named after their discoverer, Galileo. Observations by Hubble have determined that three of the largest of Jupiter's moons may have underground oceans of liquid water under their surface, and that one had underground liquid water in the past, which is the first ingredient to carbon-based life similar to that on Earth. Ganymede, the biggest moon in the solar system. Ganymede is the biggest moon in the solar system and is even bigger than the closest planet to the Sun, Mercury. It is the only moon with a magnetosphere in the solar system. Its magnetosphere is entirely embedded inside of Jupiter's magnetosphere. Scientists using the Hubble Space Telescope discovered a salty ocean beneath the surface of Ganymede with the help of its auroras. This ocean is estimated to be 100 kilometers deep and harbors more water than all of the oceans combined on Earth. Although it has an inhabitable surface with a thin atmosphere containing atomic oxygen, the salt ocean under the 150 kilometer surface ice crust may be habitable for some kind of life, possibly microbial. Europa, the ocean moon. When it comes to extraterrestrial life in the solar system, Europa is the most prominent subject of study among researchers in recent times. The best evidence of water under Europa's surface was detected by the Galileo spacecraft in its flybys of the moons. Since the Juno spacecraft has reached the Jovian system, it has been extensively photographing the surface of Europa. Europa's ice surface is estimated to be 15 to 25 kilometers thick, floating on an ocean 60 to 150 kilometers deep. It is also estimated that the underground ocean floor on Europa is rocky, which adds to the intrigue, as the chemical interaction between rock and water is key to sustaining life. Europa would need to have the necessary chemical ingredients for the chemistry of life in order to be potentially habitable. Ingredients of life like carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur are common elements that scientists believe were present on Europa when it formed. Later, asteroids and comets would have collided with the moon, depositing even more organic or carbon-containing materials. Tidal heating is thought to create a watery environment, rich with chemistry conducive to life by cycling the water and nutrients. Europa's surface is scorched with radiation from Jupiter, which would destroy life on the surface. But beneath the surface, energy for life to thrive is powered by chemical reactions. While this evidence propels Europa to the top of the list in search for life beyond Earth. Callisto, the cratered world. 
Callisto is the farthest from Jupiter of the Galilean moons. It is also the most cratered object in the solar system. It is thought to be geologically inactive, and the surface has remained unchanged for the last 4 billion years, except for comet, asteroid, and meteor strikes, leaving it heavily cratered. Beneath the cratered surface of Callisto lies an ocean, much like Ganymede's or Europa's. It is geologically inactive and receives less radiation from Jupiter due to its distance from the planet. This means it is friendly to host life as the radiation is less intense, but at the same time, complex conditions for life to thrive are yet to be seen. Io, the densest moon in the solar system. Io is the closest to Jupiter of the Galilean moons. Due to its proximity to Jupiter, it is subjected to immense gravitational fluctuations. It takes on an oval-shaped orbit due to the additional gravity of Ganymede and Europa. Its shape also fluctuates due to its orbit and proximity to Jupiter, making it the most geologically active and densest moon in the solar system. Its volcanic activity is harsh, often spewing plumes 300 kilometers above the surface. Although all these conditions made Io a neglected candidate for life, some researchers argue that, in the past, Io had water on it, making it favorable for life, and that, as the conditions grew harsher, organisms could have descended into the depths of the moon where liquid water may be present with nutrients. As some surface features include solid sulfur dioxide, which is a polar solvent in liquid state, Similar to water dissolving organic molecules and inorganic salts, some researchers have speculated that there is a possibility that microorganisms with alien biochemistry involving liquid sulfur dioxide could exist beneath the surface of frozen Io. The future. At present, spacecraft Juno is monitoring and taking pictures of Jupiter's moons while studying and monitoring its atmosphere and processes. It will end its mission by crashing into Jupiter. The spacecraft named the Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, or JUICE, is to be launched in 2023. Its mission is to make multiple flybys of Jupiter's moons Callisto, Europa, and Ganymede. After the flybys, it enters into orbit around Ganymede. Primary objectives of this mission include mapping the surface, studying the underground oceans, the detection of organic compounds of life, and a geological survey of these three moons. In 2024, Europa Clipper is scheduled to focus on Europa. It will make multiple close flybys of Europa by staying in the elliptical orbit of Jupiter. Its prime objective is to test the habitability of Europa. Eventually, as we send more and more equipment to these moons, we will find out what lies underneath their surfaces, and this will open doors to further explore into the cosmos for life. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to the channel.